When it's good, when it's gold, you don't even know. Just spend it all, just spend it all. Yeah, I was good, I was yours. You already know how it goes when it goes to. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sherry. Thank you for being here today. I really appreciate it. Today's video is my April favorites and I feel very accomplished today because I'm actually doing a doing my April favorites video before May is almost over and just the fact that I'm making a favorites video in general because I've been really bad about that. It's been low on my totem pole but I do enjoy watching them and I also enjoy filming them so um, yeah I hope you'll enjoy listening to what my favorites were for this month but before I get into the video if you enjoy this content, I would appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I upload new videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, and I often do live streams on Wednesday evenings at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. So that's when you can be expecting new videos from me. But let's get into my April favorites. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with some hair favorites. You guys know that I've been having a very difficult time with my hair. I've lost a lot of hair due to my diet change and it just has been in terrible condition. I did get a lot of it cut off. I'm trying some new things. Today is not a great testament to the fact that it can look better than this. I used a clarifying shampoo just to remove all the buildup today and use a deep conditioner so it's kind of but it is what it is. I went to church like this, so I figure if I can go to church that way, I can film that way. <laughs> but I do want to show you some of the products that I've been using because um, they are improving the texture of my hair. They are making what is left healthier, and so I wanted to show you what I've been using. Um, the first two products are from Briogeo. I'll talk about this one first. This is the Briogeo Rosar Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This is really pricey. I got it on the Sephora sales, 20 bucks. I had tried this from a Sephora Play Box and it really did some really good things for my hair. It made it less frizzy, it gave it more condition, and just made it overall look better. So I bought that while I had the 20% off. This I received in, I believe, a BoxyCharm, and this is the Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. It says it protects up to 425 degrees, and when I straighten my hair, that's the temperature that I use. And so it really does help. It also kind of helps my curl kind of kick in, and so I've really been enjoying that, and that's a leave-in. The next combination of two products have been um, the best for whenever I want to wear my hair curly, which doesn't look the best, but this makes it presentable. The first one is Amika Curl Core Enhancing Gel. And what I like about this is that it gives some curl formation and some hold, but it's not crispy. Um, when your hair is thinning and the ends of your hair are particularly damaged and thinning, making them crispy makes it look even more sparse and more scraggly, really unattractive. And so mousse and those kind of strong styling gels just really make my hair look worse. So I got recommended this at the, at the beauty supply where I shop and so far I really like it. It doesn't give enough of a curl formation so I combine it with um, the ISO bouncy spray and this is kind of like a spray gel and so I'll put the Amika in and then I'll go through kind of flip my head over and use this bouncy spray and it kind of lets the the curl form a little bit stronger and holds it a little bit better so I really like that so the, I'm gonna stop there um, I use a lot of hair products. It's it's kind of ridiculous, but I do everything I can to make my hair look better than it looks. And um, I know that it's like a self-conscious thing for me or like a insecurity thing for me just because I've lost so much hair. Um, but, you know, before long, I'm eating well. I'm, I'm taking my supplements. I, I'm supplementing everything and taking my biotin and drinking my bone broth. And so I know that as my hair grows out it'll it'll come out healthier so I'm just gonna keep on treating it well in the meantime alright next I'm gonna get into face products I'm really not gonna do much actual skincare stuff this time because I spoke mostly about those things whenever I did my Sephora haul and I really haven't used those things long enough to know if they're gonna become favorites or not so I'm just gonna kinda start and go in order with how I put my makeup on 
And so I start with a primer. After I've cleansed and moisturized my skin, I go in with a primer. And I continue to like the combination of Professional by Benefit for my T-zone and the places where my pores are more obvious, which is right in here. And then after that, I go over top with Smashbox Primer Water. And that works just really well for me. If I set my makeup afterwards, everything stays right in place. And the cool part is I can do my makeup at 5.30 in the morning. And when I get home from work, it looks almost identical. And I know it's starting to get warmer here. And sometimes the heat kind of causes some breakdown. But this stuff keeps it locked in place for now. For my foundation, I always do a cocktail. And this is what's been working best for me lately. Um, I use the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation and the Maybelline Superstay. Um, this one's a little too dark for me and it oxidizes and this one's a little too light for me and it's not enough coverage. So these two combined are working great for me. Um, I do really like this foundation even on its own. I, I would consider getting um, another shade that's a little bit darker. Uh, my skin is getting a little bit tan since I've been spending some time outdoors. But I have to say that I do not like this applicator. It makes for a lot of dips and it takes a long time to get enough product out. Right now I'm using it as a supplement. So it's just to lighten and, and kind of um, dilute the other really full coverage foundation. And so it's a pain in the tush, just to make a long story short. Um, whenever I was doing my collab with Heather and Heidi and Shannon, um, we did a drugstore look and I hadn't used a drugstore translucent powder in a really long time and so I bought the Maybelline Fit Me and I actually find myself reaching for this a lot and so as far as a drugstore alternative, I really like this. It's very mattifying and very smoothing. I really um, am impressed with it actually. For bronzer and blush and highlighter, I've been trying to branch out a little bit because I got stuck into using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer every day and I still really love it and I still reach for it, but I've been trying to use some of the things that I have um, from my stash and especially these um, cheek palettes. So I've been trying to use the Cheek Parade and um, especially these two bronzers, the Hoola and Hoola Light. I like them combined. This one's a little too dark for me, but them combined really works well. And I've been using the combination of Dandelion and Rocketeur um, as a blush. Whenever I'm wanting kind of a glowy blush, I'll put this down as a foundation and this on top for a little bit of sheen. And I really like the tone of this one a lot. I've also been using um, this blush, which is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighten in Pink Buttercream. I got this um, from the Ulta sale and it's just extremely pigmented and it looks kind of light there, but I'm wearing it today. It's very obviously not light. I have to use a light hand with it, but it's a really nice blush and it looks like it's probably going to last until the end of time. Um, another blush I got in a duo at Christmas time and this is Lorac and Spectra. And I really like this shade. It's just a nice everyday pinky rose blush. It's a nice one. And for highlighter, um, I haven't really used anything but the Anastasia Amrezy, Amrezy highlighter. It's beautiful and it looks good with everything. And so yeah, and it looks like I've barely touched the surface or scratched the surface. It's beautiful. I love it. And that's been my favorite. I've used it almost every day. I did get the Becca um, Vanilla Quartz at the Sephora sale. And I've used it a little bit and I like it. But I haven't really made a judgment on that one yet. Um, I kind of decided when I was gathering these products that I was just going to do things that I haven't shown you in a while or things that um, are a little bit different from what I ordinarily use. And so I've been using the exact same brow products. So I'm not going to go into that. Um, but for those of you that are new to my channel for the brow powders, I use this brow envy. I had it right here. So I figured I would show you. It is one of the very few things that I've hit pan on. And I don't know if you can see the tiny little dot right there, but I've even hit pan on the dark color, but I love these powders. And you guys know I use like 15 eyebrow products. Um, 
I didn't talk about how I apply the foundation, and these are dirty um, because I used them just before I went to church today. But this is the Flower Beauty Sponge, and it used to be a more vibrant color of lilac, but I've washed it so many times that that started to fade, and it does get a stain. It looks worse than it does when it's clean, but it still keeps a little bit of that color there, but the softness, I mean, even now, it's so squishy and soft, and I love the texture of it, and I love the bounce of it. I like this end to put foundation all over my face, and I like to use this to set it with powder. Um, it's not one that you can really get up in the crevices with, which is why I continue to use my Real Techniques Mini Blender. So, those are my application methods, and occasionally I'll use a paddle brush, but not often. I've really enjoyed just using these. Alright, to set my face, I have really been enjoying the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. When I put all my foundation and everything on all the way to setting powder, I like to use this in between because it kind of knocks the powdery look off, and then I like to use it as a finishing touch. It is dewy, but it's not luminous. It really gives a nice um, moist look to the skin. That's a terrible word. Um, it looks not powdery, it looks more skin-like, and it doesn't give you an extremely dewy finish where you look shiny, but it does kind of bring life back to the face, and I really do like this. And I also like the fact that it's NYX, and you can usually get it, buy one, get one half off. There's always a good sale, so I wait until there's a sale, and then I buy several of them. Um, as far as eyeliner is concerned... I have this really weird combination. I actually got this Tardis um, eyeliner. It's it's a double eyeliner. It's got a brush tip on one end and it has a pencil on the other end, um, which I've smashed and not used really. But I was expecting not to like this and I don't really know why, but it's really good. Um, but I also use this Ico Black Magic, which is also a brush tip. You guys know that's what I enjoy. That's what I like. But the problem that I've been having is one that's been ongoing, and that is when I get down into my inner quarter, it kind of feathers up. If it's a really wet formula, it kind of feathers up into the fine lines on the inner corner of my eye. And ultimately, it'll get into my tear duct area and just smear out, and it looks terrible. Um, it looks like I have a black eye on my inner corner and it looks terrible. And so I started way back, not going as far into my inner corny, corner and kind of starting uh, like a millimeter out. Um, but this is a really dry formula and so it gives me control, the Ico. And so I'll use that on the inner corner to just do the outline. And then this is really a more wet formula and it's really black and really matte and so I'll use this to go in and fill in and I really like the way it looks and it stays put for all day. Um, the only smudging I get is like right in these, the corner of my eyes right here which that happens to me no matter what I use but I really like this combination. It might be a miracle if I actually could have one product that does everything that I like. If you notice I cocktail everything. I combine everything. Speaking of combining everything this is my combination of um, mascaras. I use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on my bottom lashes. It really gives me some length and makes it look like I have some eyelashes. And then I use my Benefit Roller Lash. I've gone back to this. I've been using lots of other ones that I've gotten in boxes to try them out and I keep going back to this. It keeps my lashes curled. It lengthens them, it fans them out, and gets them ready for um, to face better than sex, which is a really volumizing. So I lengthen in and um, fan out, and then I go in for volume with this one. Uh, this is an Emily Noel recommendation. I'm not wearing it today just because I ran out of time, but this is actually a ultimate brow highlighter. It's for like underneath your brows, and I don't use it for that. I use it on my inner rim, and especially with dark looks like this, it really brightens up and opens up the eye, and I really love this. I use this almost every day, and it's like three bucks, so that's a plus. Okay, on to lippies. You guys know that I could probably show you 15 lipsticks, um, but I'm just going to show you two and one just kind of an entire line. 
The first one is from Bare Minerals, and it's from their statement matte line. Another one I got from the Ulta Sale, and this is the shade Juicy. And this is just such a pretty coral, and I love it. I wore it all day, and it stayed all day. I had to reapply on the inner part maybe midday, but it was so pretty and vibrant, and it just brightened up my whole face. It's a really pretty spring and summer color. Um, the one that I've been using a lot just as a nude, which is m my kind of pinky nude, kind of mauvey nude, is Velvet Teddy by MAC. And this is my favorite MAC shade. I probably have four or five. I don't have a lot to choose from, but I always go for this one whenever I'm not sure what to wear, especially when I have a pretty dramatic eye. I like to use this, and I have it on today. A lot of what I'm talking about I have on today. And if I didn't say so, I love my lipstick carousel. I've noticed that I'm really kind of branching out and using some shades that I haven't used in a long time because they're right here in front of me and I can choose from them easily. All right, so like I said, it's we're starting to have some warmer temperatures in Oklahoma. And so I'm starting to migrate to my fresher, cleaner, types of fragrances. So I thought I would show you some of the ones that I'm enjoying right now and what I almost always enjoy whenever it's starting to be spring and summer. The first one is Viva La Juicy. It's just a nice fruity floral scent, very clean and light and it doesn't overpower like when you're getting really warm. It just kind of blossoms out and smells really clean and nice. The next one I've almost used it up but I do have a backup and this is the Versace bright crystal and I really love this. This is just such a unique fragrance. It's very floral and fruity just like most of the perfumes that I love but it's also very clean and it's another one I like to wear when it's warm and I'm going to be overheated and I don't want a really strong um, intense fragrance and this is a really good one for the same reason. And this is my go-to <laughs> summer scent Ralph by Ralph Lauren. Again, this is a very clean scent, and I know I keep using that word, but whenever it's warm and I'm getting overheated and sweaty, I want something that's clean and fresh smelling. I don't want anything that's going to make me feel overloaded with really intense spicy fragrance, things that I would wear in the winter. I, I'm really, I, it almost makes me feel sick to smell whenever it's really warm out. So these are the three that I'm drawn to. There's a couple others, but I figured I would stop there. And yeah, it's warm in here, and so I've got my fan going. I'm sorry if the sound is distracting. I also have my neighbor mowing the grass. Um, I did want to kind of lean over and show you guys that I have some new storage that I bought um, on Amazon on sale. I also am looking into getting a bigger desktop. Uh, I want to get some short Alex drawers and get a larger desktop um, because I have a mall dressing table, and it's beautiful, and I love it but my lighted mirror is taking up almost all of my table space, which makes makes it where I don't have it, I can't really set anything on my desktop. And so that's kind of defeating the purpose of having it, a dressing table. And so I'm working on that. I'm gonna work on getting that for my birthday, basically as a birthday present to myself. But that's what that stuff is for, is hopefully once I get a bigger desktop, I'll have a place where I can actually have things that are more accessible. Um, I'm kind of having the situation where when I put things in drawers, I forget about them and I don't use them, so I would like to have them nearby. Um, finally, I've mentioned this before and shown this before, but I am loving this brush carousel that I got off of Amazon. It's not very well organized. I like to use it. I like to put the bigger ones in the center and the shorter ones on the outside, but I've kind of put them in and out and back and forth. And so about once a week I go through there and, and fix them back up again, but it makes it where I can see my brushes instead of all clumped together in a cup where I can't see them. So I'm really loving that. Um, I did film a get ready with me today with this eye look and it was a combination of a whole bunch of different ideas for videos. But in that video, I talked about some book favorites and some movie favorites. And so I thought I probably should have included them in this. But yeah, 
it's going to be in that one. So you'll have to wait to hear those those favorites and recommendations on that other video, which will be out soon. I'm not sure which one of these will go up first. Yeah, so I tried to keep it condensed. You guys know I'm a go big or go home kind of girl, so I tend to overdo things, and that maybe was overdoing it, but that was condensed for Sherry, so that is, you can take that out if you want to. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you to those of you who are loyal subscribers and commenters and watchers. I appreciate you so much. And yeah, I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And when I do live streams, they're on Wednesday evenings at 6 p.m. Central Time. So that's when you can be looking for new videos from me. So until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. So before I get started, please... Before I get started, please... Ugh. Before I get started with the video, please consider please consider paying for me to have speech classes. Before I get into the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up if you I don't know the words of that song. Okay. Kitty WWF in the other room. Yikes, like they sounded serious. <laughs> Is everything okay in there now? But I had tried it from a well, for my for my yeah. If you've noticed, I can't, I can't. <sighs> the first one is Bare Minerals. This is a statement mat. Another one that I got from the Ulta sale. And this is the shade Fresh. And this is not the, fra the phrase. Hold on. Hmm. What else? That one was good. You go, Sherry. Go, Sherry. Go, Sherry. It ain't your birthday. It ain't your birthday. When it's good, when it's gold, you don't even know. Just spend it all. Just spend it all. I was good, I was yours, you already know how it goes when it goes to...